Ladies and gentlemen, I uh, would like to welcome everyone to our 24 July 2023 Jackson County Commission meeting. At this time, I'd like to call the uh, meeting to order and I'd like to ask Mr. Manning, our county administrator, to please call the roll to establish a quorum. Mr. Gully? Present. Mr. Cameron? Present. Mr. Cameron? Present. Mr. Butler? Present. Mr. McBride? We do have a quorum. Thank you very much. And Paul, would please stand. At this time, I ask our county attorney, Mr. Porter, to please leave up off, off our invocation and Commissioner Kenimer to lead our Pledge of Allegiance. Let's pray. God, our Father in heaven, we are truly blessed. We look around us every day and see the blessings that we have, not only the beauty that we get to live in in this wonderful county, but also the people that also shine brightly. So God, we're thankful for all these blessings blessings we know that you'll continue to watch over us and guide us. Be with us as we continue in this meeting and that the men that are here will make good decisions for the people of this county. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In the packet is the agenda for tonight's meeting and will be displayed on the, uh, the screen there. Um, at this time, I'd like a, a motion to approve the, the uh, 24 July 2023 agenda with a change. And that change is that we will move work session item 3C, Rebuild Alabama and Federal Aid Exchange Fund selection for uh, fiscal year 2024 to new business item uh, 6D uh, as a motion to approve Rebuild Alabama and Federal Aid Exchange Fund selection for fiscal year 2024. Do I have a motion? I make that motion. We have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. We do have the opportunity tonight to recognize some of our county family, our county employees that have been with us for a long period of time dedicating their service to the citizens of Jackson County. It truly is a pleasure for us to have the opportunity to do that. If I could ask the commissioners to join me down front and uh, we will make some of those presentations. First of all, we have Mr. Darrell Kennedy. Uh, Mr. Kennedy uh, has been with uh, the county for 20 years and serving the citizens of Jackson County and, and doing a great job. He works in our solid waste department. Uh, he came in as a driver collector, I think at some point. He was a team leader as a title and that job title has changed. So he's currently a driver collector for our solid waste department. So. Mr. Kennedy, if you would join us up here, please, we would like to uh, present uh, this uh, recognition to you. And it says a certificate of recognition and the award is given to Richard Kennedy, I'm saying Daryl's middle name, an appreciation for your 20 years of dedicated service to the citizens of Jackson County, presented on this the 24th day of July, 2023. Thank you so much thank for you, what you're sir. doing for all of us. And thank you. I'm glad to serve the camera. Thank you, sir. How much today? You've been here already. What change? One, two, three. Got it. Uh, thank you. 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 Oh, Blake. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Jonathan Blake Johnson, would you come forward, please? So, Blake has uh, been with the county and serving the county uh, for 10 years, and during that time, it has been uh, uh, with our, our jail. I think you started out in your job title initially with jailer yeah. 10 years ago, 
and that has been changed to corrections uh, deputy. But he, over the 10 years, he has progressed and been promoted to the position of sergeant uh, as a, a corrections deputy for our jail. Tough job. I mean, we, all, we all know that it's a tough job, and we really appreciate all that you and, and your uh, other members there do for us on a daily basis. So with that, I uh, would like to uh, present this uh, on behalf of all of our Commissioners, a certificate of recognition, and this is give, this award is given to Blake Johnson in appreciation for your 10 years of dedicated service to the citizens of Jackson County. Present on this the 24th day of July, 2023. Congratulations and thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, sir. We do want to recognize two other members of our county family. They are not able to be here tonight. But one is Ms. Faye McBride. Uh, she is being awarded a certificate of recognition for 10 years of service. Started in 2013 as a Medicare uh, waiver coordinator for the Council of Aging. And uh, now she is working since 2016 in our probate office. And so congratulations to her and thanks for her service. And also we have uh, recognizing Mr. Chris Talley, uh, 10 years of service to our county. Uh, was a jailer from uh, 20, or 2008 to 2016, and corrections deputy certified, attended jail school, and uh, transferred to the council of AGB as a uh, bus driver in 2021. And we're recognizing him for 15 years of service uh, to our Jackson County uh, Citizens. So we would like to say thank you for all that they have done for us uh, for the course of those years. But thanks very much uh, for everybody's service here and for everybody being here to witness <coughs> that. So with that, we will move into a <coughs> new business portion. Do we have any public comment tonight? No? Okay. So we will move into a new business portion of our meeting tonight. We have four items. Uh, first item uh, in the packet uh, are the minutes of our July 10th, 2023 meeting and work session, July the, uh, and work, sub, work session. Also, we had budget hearings on July the 11th and July the 12th, and uh, those minutes are in the packet as well. Do I have a motion to adopt the minutes from the July 10th, 2023 meeting and work session, the July 11th, 2023 budget hearing, and the July 12th, 2023 budget hearing? I'll make that motion. We have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Any discussion? Comments? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Motion carries. Thank you very much. At the last meeting, uh, we had a discussion of a budget amendment for our public works fund. Um, we have had uh, a, to, a transfer of $180,000 from the uh, general fund to the public works for a uh, county portion of County Road 74. Also, we did receive grant funding of $380,000 uh, that were received this year and was not a part of our original uh, budget this year. And we want to record those uh, in revenue and uh, record the total of $560,000 for our contract service expenses uh, for the above amendments. So do I have a motion to approve the budget amendment for our public works department? I'll make the motion. You have a motion, do I have a second? I'll second that. We have a second, any discussion? questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Next in the uh, packet for the uh, new business is uh, we had the hiring committee is making a recommendation for the vacant transportation council of aging clerk at the council of aging. Uh, Mr. Chad Coleman, the director is uh, making a recommendation to fill that position at the grade at a grade three step two level and the effective date of the uh, position will be july the 31st 2023 
Do I have a motion to approve hiring committee's recommendation for the vacant transportation council of aging clerk at council of aging? I made that motion. We have a motion to have a second. I'll second. We have a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Last item in our new business portion of, of today's meeting is a, a motion to approve rebuild Alabama and federal aid exchange fund selection for uh, fiscal year 2024. Uh, our county engineer, Mr. Campbell, uh, made a presentation to us at the last work session and made a recommendation on roads uh, to be selected um, uh, for 2024. Uh, a copy of that is in everyone's uh, packet. Uh, and we did take a look at that at our special work session uh, earlier today. With that, do I have a motion to approve Rebuild Alabama and Federal Aid um, fund uh, selection for fiscal year 2024. I'll make that motion. We have a motion to have a second. I'll second. We have a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Let me say thanks to our public works department, our county engineer, and deputy county and assistant county engineer for the work that they have put in to uh, put this uh, recommendation together for us. Uh, with that, that's the last item of new business. We will move into our work session. We have several discussion items. Uh, first, um, from jail, we have the Viapath contract extension. And we do have a copy in the, in the packet for everyone. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. At the jail, we're striving to uh, continue to improve our footprint on the county budget uh, and lessen that as much as we can and still maintain the care, custody, and control that we desire to have for the inmates there. Through uh, that, discussions have been going on with BiPath. BiPath is the uh, organization that we contract our communications, our telephone service uh, from the inmates our uh, tablets and those sorts of things for inmate communications. As a result of those uh, uh, talks, our contract expires June, July the 18th of next year. They have proposed adding a two-year extension to that when it expires, that would kick in after it expires next July for an additional two years. They have agreed to pay us over 10% above our commission right now without going up on the charge of the inmates so that would go to the, the county budget that extra income from the uh, uh, telephone usage also they have agreed to give us a fifty thousand dollar grant to the jail that if this uh, uh, is uh, approved uh, would be deposited on the uh, january 1st coming up uh, we're happy with them. They do a good job. They have their serviceman is pronto on the spot when we need him. And our sales rep used to be a technician in their organization. So he can evaluate things and make them happen and call tech, their tech group and work it in. It's, it's really working out real well for us at the jail. And we recommend that uh, this uh, two-year extension be approved. Okay. Let me open for any questions or comments. Is there any stipulations on that $50,000? None. That it goes to the jail is the only right. stipulation. I, I ask about that because they call it a technology grant, but there are things such as uh, stab proof body armor and uh, things of that nature that uh, we have our eye on. And uh, so it would be just for the use of the jail. Okay. So it be okay to put it on the agenda for our next meeting, new business? Yes, sir. I would appreciate that. Okay, sir. Well, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Next item in the packet, uh, we'd like to ask Sheriff Rocky Harnum to discuss a, a proposal regarding a law enforcement memorial. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Commissioners, I uh, come to you tonight not only as Sheriff, but also as the President of the Turnover Order Police, High Jackson Lodge. Uh, I'll give you a little history. One of our reserves came to me a few weeks ago and asked about a law enforcement memorial here somewhere on the courthouse grounds. Um, I felt like since 
if we did get something like this approved, it would be for every law enforcement agency in this county that it should be sponsored by the FOP instead of by the Sheriff's Office. So it was brought up to the FOP and they agreed to sponsor uh, this law enforcement memorial. So my thought is, and I need permission obviously from y'all, to have a spot for a very nice small monument for those who've given their life in the line of duty in law enforcement. Not only for Jackson County Sheriff's Office, but for every agency here in this county. Okay, do you have a spot that you would recommend? I recommend where the cannon used to be, right out here on this corner. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a nice uh, cement pad already there. They removed the cannon from that some years ago. Um, seems to me like that might be a nice place for it, with y'all's permission. Um, our reserve, Pat Linhart, has agreed to head up, spearhead this thing and, and go out and try to get donations for it. So we're hoping it will be no, no cost to the county whatsoever. Um, I know the FOPs want to kick in some money on it too, just to uh, be a part of it. But uh, I think it'll be something good. Uh, we're not talking about anything extravagant, just a, a nice uh, uh, memorial for those that have given their life service. Okay. Any, Any questions? questions come? No, I just think it's a wonderful project. Thank you for heading that up. Okay, now do we need to, uh, uh, I would guess that once the donations are made and they're ready, we would want to have a vote of support to, for that on a resolution of support? Uh, yes, sir. I, I would suggest you do that and also approve the spot. That as a part of specifically that specifically give them permission to put that memorial on the on the at that spot is, okay. that a, is that a survey thing or just a, no. a verbiage to agree verbiage. Okay. so a resolution could yeah. cover all of that Absolutely. with a resolution okay so let us know when, when you're ready for that and, and we will draft a resolution and get it for the commission thank you chef Horner. thank you very much and, and Thank you for bringing that to Jackson County and, and to our courthouse. Uh, next, uh, public works, we have uh, two items. Uh, first is access management policy. We did have a discussion of that uh, last week in our work session. So let me uh, ask uh, our county engineer, Mr. Cam Campbell, to uh, discuss that. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I really don't have anything other to add uh, beyond the items that we have discussed, but I, I would love to answer any questions if you have any. So the overview of this is, is to allow there to be a permitting process for putting in uh, uh, culverts and, and storm drains, I guess, where they meet county roads is that is that the stipulation that we're talking about we're not talking about any municipality here just just for county roads yes sir that's correct okay okay uh any other questions and you did say that was a free permit right yes sir okay i would propose that, that the copy of a the proposed uh, access management policy has been provided uh it would take time to to uh, review that and uh, bring that to new business agenda for, for our next meeting. Is that okay with the uh, commissioners? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, next item is fleet truck surplus and purchase. In your packet is a, uh, uh, a memo uh, to uh, our county engineer, Mr. Campbell, uh, from uh, J.W. Woods. Uh, so again, let me turn it over to county engineer, Mr. Campbell. Uh, I would like to answer any questions you may have. Uh, I really, really don't have anything other to, to add other than what was been previously discussed. Okay, once again, I'd like to make sure just for the, for the record of this meeting, um, are you surplusing how many and? Uh, Two pickups. I'm sorry? Two pickups. Two pickups. Yes, sir. Okay. And, and I noticed that the, the auction company has guaranteed a price for these, so we know a minimum of what you're going to carry down there. Yes, sir. Um, is there any urgency uh, to this? That so I checked with Dale Kimsel with Stivers Ford prior to this meeting, and there are two that were on the way at the time that he and I were talking. So. 
uh, that's the availability that we were anticipating by this replacement. Um, so that order sheet, that's the form we discussed at the last meeting, that is the uh, governmental department state bid order sheet. Um, that's what would secure our order approval to submit that. And uh, essentially, they're you know they're free game once they're once they're at the dealership. Um, the the first person that submits the order forms on state bid gets gets the trucks. So you propose that we set aside the rules and, and take a motion to approve a uh, fleet truck surplus and purchase of uh, two uh, pickup trucks. If you all are comfortable with that, if, if you need more time, uh, you know, whatever you decide. But okay. the sooner, sooner we turn in our order, the sooner it guarantees our vehicles. Okay. Uh, any comment or question regarding that? Do I have a motion to set aside the rules for the purpose of uh, fleet truck surplus and purchase of uh, two uh, pickup trucks? Do I have a motion to set aside the rules? I'll make that motion. Okay, we have a motion to set aside the rules. We have a second? I'll see. We have a second. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. So I, do I have, have a motion to proceed uh, with the JW, JM Wood Company with a fleet truck uh, surplus and purchase of uh, two uh, Chevrolet uh, 2020 pickup trucks? Mr. Chairman, I suggest you make that two motions, one to surplus and one to purchase. Okay. Yeah, and they're, they're Ford, uh, be 2023 Ford F-150 from state bid. I make a motion to surplus the two uh, Chevrolet trucks that are going to J.M. Wood. Okay, do I have a second? No, I'll second that. Do I have a second? I'm in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, do, then do I have a motion uh, for purchase of uh, two uh, 2023 uh, Ford F-150 Super Cab trucks? I'll make that motion to purchase those trucks. We have a motion to have a second. I'll second that. Have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, you very much. John, thanks. Thank you. Okay, next, uh, Solid Waste Department. Uh, you know, we discussed in our last <coughs> meeting uh, bids for uh, pickup trucks. Uh, let me turn it over to our Solid Waste. Uh, apartment manager. Thank you, Chairman, Commissioner. Uh, first, y'all got any more questions uh, of this uh, bid? The only thing I can add is I talked to Donahue Chevrolet and he said the trucks was on the lot. Uh, as of today, we're, we're, our names are still on it. Uh, there's so many days on the contract. I can't remember if it was 60. I think that's right. Uh, but for right now, they're they're on the lot ready to go. And then I talked to J.M. Wood about selling the surplus trucks. Uh, he said the sooner we can get them cleaned up, get them down there, the sooner they can start advertising. And that sale will be in September. Okay, so we need to take action here to surplus uh, trucks. I thought we've already. I think done we've done that. surplus the trucks. We've already surplus the trucks. So this is an action purely to decide whether we would purchase uh, uh, the trucks. Yes, okay. So uh, on this, you would need to set aside the rules again. Yes. But for the record, uh, just for this meeting, just to make sure, since. Uh, uh, we want to do that. This is a um, uh, to purchase uh, two, Thir three, three trucks, four by four crew cab, one half ton uh, pickup trucks. Yes, yeah, so they're they're 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 four wheel drive crew cab work trucks. And your recommendation is to purchase from Donahue Chevrolet. Yes, sir. And they are on the state bid list. Yes, sir. And this is state bid price. Yes, sir. Okay. So do I have a motion to set aside the rules to approve purchase 
of three pickup trucks for our solid waste department. I'll make that motion. We have a motion to have a second. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, I, I have a question. So if I second it, I can ask my question. Right. If you second set aside rules, we then go to discussion and you can ask a question. All right. So I'll second that. Okay. We have a second. Any discussion? All right. So uh, questions. The, the money for these trucks, are you, are you, how are you planning on paying for that? Uh, cash on hand. So we sold that one garbage truck for 50000 uh, and then the surplus of the four trucks. Uh, I'm hoping we'll cover the rest. If anything, I think what I predicted was going to be anywhere from twenty to thirty-five thousand. What we'd have to put into it, but that was with forty thousand trade-in. So it's a, we got an extra ten. So I'm looking at anywhere from fifteen to twenty-five thousand. Well, it'll we'll have to actually put into the trucks from from cash on hand. Yes, sir. Okay. Any further? And that's at the questions? the guaranteed price. Hopefully, you know, we'll make more and we'll end up not having any money. And and, and just for edification. What, what's the logic for, for, for buying these trucks? Uh, logic on these trucks is right now we're, we're not in the program. We've got an older truck that's uh, early 2000. We've got a 2012 truck. Uh, we're, we're putting money into trucks <coughs> we're not going to get anything out of. Uh, we don't have warranty on any truck. Any, any pickup truck at solid waste, we don't have a single bit of warranty on pickup trucks. So if a transmission goes out, we got to buy the bullet and pay for it on, on any pickup truck. Uh, not just the ones that we're selling. We've got a couple more that, you know, you know we'll, we'll try to get these rotated where we can get uh, like public works on this fleet program. Uh, we get these new trucks. Uh, we got warranty. Uh, we can turn them around uh, within a couple of years, hopefully, and, and make money off of it. And uh, that way we're not sinking so much money into these old trucks. So, so for a person that doesn't get to buy off the state bid list, what's, what's the advantage of that? So for us, you're talking about for us? So so for us, we're getting it about $10,000 cheaper, a pickup truck. So if me and you went to a Chevrolet dealership and said, I want this exact same truck, we're going to have to pay 53000 for this exact same truck. So for us, we can buy this truck at 43000 as long as everything's going the way it's going, which we're hoping it is, drive it a couple of years, and I only have 30,000 miles on it, and then turn around and say we sell it for, uh, you know, you, you know you, you go to the dealership buy a one-year-old truck, you know, it's only got 15, 20,000 miles, you know, if you're willing to give $5,000 less than a brand new one, well, $5,000 less is still, you know, money in the bank for us. It's be only, you know, 48,000. So we'd still make, make some money. So potentially because you're buying at a lower price, you can sell a used vehicle and, and come yeah, Gant Garner back on that something similar to what you paid for. Yes, sir. Without having to do maintenance. Yes, sir. It, it, if we just break even, maintenance. I'd be happy. If we wouldn't have to do any maintenance on it, I wouldn't have to, you know, change the tires out. Uh, change so, the oil a few times. Yeah, change the oil. So, you know, if, if we broke even, we're happy. If we do any more, it's just extra money in our pocket. We can spend somewhere else. So, let me ask uh, in the uh, public works our history of purchase and sale while trucks are in the warranty we are breaking even or even in some cases uh, getting prices that are above our purchase price correct me if i'm wrong that's correct so mr what mr skipper is is uh, submitting to you on the purchase price if there's no sales tax paid, a reduced purchase price, and he still has a merchantable product. So at the time, at the time of, of what's intended to transfer and roll out inventory, then the basic bumper to bumper warranty would most likely be expired, but there would still be powertrain, most likely that would still exist and that's merchantable as well. So a reduced cost of ownership, a reduced liability in ownership, is is the goal and then if it's if it's anywhere near comparable at the end of that service time then then it's a successful rotation okay any other questions comments okay we have a motion and a second to, to set aside the rules do 
All in favor say aye. 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 Um, motion carries. With that, do I have a motion to approve the purchase of three 4x4 crew cab one half ton uh, trucks from Donahue Chevrolet? I'll make that motion. We have a motion to have a second. Yeah, I'll second that. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. With that, that's the uh, last item in our work session uh, for tonight. Uh, we will proceed uh, with reports from the staff. County Administrator, Mr. Manning. Just note the uh, more budget hearings coming up next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So appreciate all of you to attend. That's all. Okay. Uh, County Engineer, Mr. Campbell. Thank you. I just want to make sure I'm clear um, on the record, backing up a few items to the uh, Rebuild Alabama project selection. I would just like to announce those projects to make sure I have the correct form and then with your approval, submit this to the administrator, county administrator to be included within the minutes. So uh, as I understood what was passed, that was project 14 and 314, project county road 47, Project County Road 77, Project County Road 58, Project County Road 21, as presented in this list before the commission. That's so, correct. Okay. Yes. I will in include this with Mr. Manning to accompany your the minutes for this okay. meeting. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, next, County Attorney. Uh, Ms. Campbell just covered what I was going to cover, so we're good. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thanks very much. Uh, any other uh, comments? If I may, Mr. Chairman. Chief Corrections Deputy Hal Nash. Yes, sir. I would like uh, to give me a microphone. I'm going to brag on our staff at the jail. As you know, you contract with ACCA, and they contract with uh, CRS, Risk Management, uh, County Risk uh, Services. They made uh, an inspection of our jail, a quite thorough inspection of our jail. Uh, after uh, going through that, he did find one item that he recommended we change uh, or improve, and which uh, we're getting prices on that now, which it was in the boiler room. But I just wanted to brag on our staff that uh, he only found one thing at the jail that he could recommend uh, that we. Uh, change that would uh, decrease our exposure so just you've got a great staff over at the jail i wanted to brag on them because they're great folks and they do you a great job for not a lot of money but i appreciate y'all helping but not a lot of money out last year and hopefully this year okay. any comment Hal, thanks very much. Uh, with that, we'll move to comments from Commission the District 3, uh, Commissioner Buckner. Uh, yeah, I just want to echo uh, uh, what uh, Chief, Chief, Chief Correction Deputy uh, Nash was alluding to. We do have a wonderful group that is working to maintain the jail, pervert, preserve the safety, uh, and it is, it is, it's an unimaginable job. And I, I'm so thankful that you guys do it. You show up, you do it right. Uh, and it's, and it's, it's something that is a vital asset to our community uh, because the people that are in there, they need the rehabilitation. Uh, the community needs to know there's a place that people can go and, and people be taken care of and controlled uh, in that way. Uh, and so just thankful for all you do. So I, I appreciate that. And, and I appreciate all our employees. Y'all, y'all do such a wonderful job. Uh, you know, spending the day over at Public Works and, 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 and knowing the level of work that gets done. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, yes, of course, we'd all like more, but I think I think we're pushing the limit of, of what we can do and able to do. And, and so I'm very proud of the work that gets done there. Same thing with sanitation, Caleb. You're doing a great job. You're leading your folks in the right way. And I think I think. I think they're doing an excellent job. Uh, of, of, of course, Rocky, you know, super proud of, of the work you're doing. It's it's amazing to see uh, how the men are rallying behind you and continuing to do great work. And I'm, I just wish you had more more folks, just like everybody wish you had more folks. 
and the council on aging just gets better every day. Thank you for, for, for what you're doing. It's a wonderful service. You know, if we if we truly take care of our little ones and our older ones, everything in the middle will take care of itself. And so just just pleased with that. So I know I'm just uh, taking up too much time, but thank you for what you do. Okay, thank you. Uh, District 2, Commissioner Kimmer. I have no comment. District 1, Commissioner Gully. I'd just like to thank everyone that uh, you all know, recognize for a long term commitment to the county. Uh, it speaks volumes to their uh, commitment to the citizens, and uh, I'd like to thank uh, all the employees of the county for everything that you do. So, uh, we, we live in one of the greatest counties in the state, and uh, we couldn't do that and have that without uh, the employees and you guys. So, thank you very much. So, I can't add anything better than what's been said, and I would agree with absolutely everything. We have a tremendous family of county employees here that come to work every day to serve the citizens of Jackson County, and they work hard. So with that, our next meeting date is uh, August the 14th, 2023 at uh, 5 p.m. here. Uh, so with that, do I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? I make that motion. We have a motion to have a second. I'll second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Thanks for everybody being here.